Hi, it's Poem Friday, and I'm going to be lame and not do very much because I'd intended to have this big romp around the forest and everything, but it rained all day, and it's still, and it's still not very camera friendly out there. So we're going to be doing this inside my room again, but at least see, we got one tree. Yeah, yeah, and to be even lamer still. I didn't do... I... Well, I haven't memorized my poem because it is long and not... I didn't have to with my original plans. So I'm going to be reading it straight from the thingy. Sounds so drab. Anyway. Need to, need to think happy thoughts. Like a very putter sequel last night. That was fun. Okay. So, ah, okay, good. We want to keep the tree in the frame. I look orange. That's because it's dark outside still, and I've got indoor lighting. And indoor lighting makes me orange, apparently, like an oompa loompa. I don't think this is going to be sung very well, though. It's not being sung, don't worry. It's straight up poem. Now I need to stop babbling. Actually, let's do it. So, it is titled Clarence Pool's Barrant Stew. So, here we go, I guess. I like to trek along the mountain pass, but then one day I must have taken one wrong turn, or two, and lost my way. I stumbled and I cried for help, grumbling all the while. An hour ago my pack had been eaten by a crocodile. Now, granted he'd look hungry and seemed to be missing an eye. I gave him my lunch because I didn't want to see him cry. But back to my plate of being hungry and very lost. Find some food and put it in me now, my stomach bossed. I tried and tried, and then by gum I tried and tried some more. I found a vegetation of whose safety I was sure. So on I wandered lost with my selfish talking tummy. Dried saliva, so you know, is thick and white and gummy. Then, oh, I heard a thing, a wondrous thing, a dog. Barked a couple times, then led me to a house of log. The house of log was quite a sight, just by the lawn alone. A stagnant moat surrounded it, marked by a traffic cone. And out the door galumphing came the strangest kind of man. He looked all thick and stocky, like he ate his daily bran. But also it's worth noting he was barely four feet tall. And he seemed shorter yet due to the bright green of his shawl. But anyway, he beckoned me into his cozy home, and I began to wonder if perhaps he was a gnome. That would explain the traffic cone as actually a hat, and the whiskers on his chin that brushed the chair in which I sat. He said to me hello, and that his name was Clarence Poole. Would I like to stay a mo, since he saw my gummy drool? He handed me a bowl and said it was his famous stew, his famous baron stew, in fact, and it smelled through and through. Not only did it smell real bad, but also it looked weird. I asked him what was in it, and he calmly said, My beard. But that and barren ants are not the only things inside. There also are four garter snakes that have not yet quite died. The broth is made from sweat I gathered from my puppy's paw. That island lump you see on top is squirrel served up raw. The sprinkled reddish green is a poison ivy garnish. And here you are a spoon with a big dark spot of tarnish. I tried to think of any reason not to have a sip, but couldn't leave him hanging, so I gave my spoon a dip. I tried to make it look as though I had enjoyed my bite, though swilling bits of forest creature gave my tongue a fright. Clarence looked expectantly into my eyes and grinned. He clearly didn't notice that they were welling and red-rimmed. I nodded and I thanked him as though I'd been well-fed, and then killed over in my chair, utterly stone-dead.